All right, so now that we have the code for this application all written up, I want to take a moment to kind of step back and actually look at the design process that would go into actually creating an application like this. So the setup that we have right now is that we are constructing our application window, we're making an HBox, and putting into this HBox three different controls. We have a label, a text field, and a button. So I want to actually try to draw this out and then construct what is going to be known as the scene graph for this application. So let's we'll set this up. So we've got our application window, and then within this window, we've got these three different controls, each one uh, next to the other in this horizontal arrangement. So I'm going to kind of position these about right here. So we've got something kind of like this. So this very first one is going to be for our label. So this is where we're putting the name label. So we can make this a little bit larger. We then have our text field. And we then have our uh, button. Okay, so with this setup right here, we see that the very sort of top element that we're dealing with is this H box, and within that H box, we have uh, each one of these three different controls. We've got our label, text field, and button. So we want to construct some kind of visual representation that can kind of show this hierarchy of containers and controls within our application. So the way that we can go about doing that is with what are known as scene graphs. So to construct a scene graph, we first need to establish a sort of top level element. This top level element is going to be what is known as the root node or just the root of the application. So the root of the application is always going to be the highest level element that is within the scene of the application. So in this case, that's going to be the H box. At the very top of this, we're going to have this H box right here. So the H box that we called uh, just H box. Go ahead and create that, and that's going to make up this element here. And then from there, we want to then go ahead and connect to this each one of the individual elements that are inside of it. So we'll have one for the label. Place that here. We'll then have another one for the text field. Place that one here. And then we'll have one last one at the bottom here. And this will be for the button. Okay. So in this way, we can actually see, using this sort of graph-like structure, the relationship between certain, uh, in this case, certain nodes to other nodes. So we can see that the name label, the name text field, and the name button, these are all going to be contained inside of this H box. So as I mentioned before, the H box is going to be the root node for the scene. It's the top level element of it. And then from there, we can connect to that a couple of different elements. So these controls that I've connected at the end of it uh, that don't have any additional uh, uh, pieces connected to them, these are going to make up our leaf nodes. And as we'll come to see a little bit later when I do scene graphs for additional applications later, uh, we also will see what are known as branch nodes, which are a sort of combination, uh, things that come off of the root node, but that then still have other additional components connected to them. So that'll be when we start talking about having containers that are contained, uh, placed inside of other containers. And then we'll transition into 
having a root node, some number of branch nodes, and then some number of leaf nodes. Okay. So at this point now we've gone ahead and created the scene graph for this. We've got this particular layout that I've shown as a sort of visual representation for this application. And so now in the next part what I want to start doing is actually applying some things like uh, spacing, padding, uh, adding an additional length and width, as well as uh, adjusting the alignment of these controls to actually create a um, visual interface that looks more like what I'm showing right here and less like what we had seen previously where all of the content was sort of bunched together in a single corner of the application. So I want to go ahead and space that out and make it start to look more like an actual practical application.